Hello everybody and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin and it's great to have you along and thanks for tuning in to another video. As most of you know or should know by now, I'm here on the sunny island of Tenerife and uh, I'm in Playa de las Americas. I'll just do my usual quick pan round and show you exactly where I am. Let's have a look. Okay, I am here in the grounds of the hotel, uh, Catalonia Oro Negro, which is at the top of uh, Las Americas. Uh, I'm not staying here or anything, not visiting anyone. I'm literally coming here because I'm right next to a busy road and the traffic is uh, mental and it's really noisy. So I thought at least I'd do my intro in here. There we go, Oro Negro. Okay, uh, so hope everybody's well. The temperature, according to my finger, and the thing on my phone and all the thermometer clocks dotted around the uh, resort is a whopping 28 degrees all day every day nice and sunny it's been absolutely roasting today so thanks for tuning in uh, if it's your first time watching i know i've had a load of new subscribers since i've uh, dropped myself on the island if it's your first time watching my name's colin i live in bournemouth on the south coast of england do videos around there uh, all along the south coast uh, wherever i end up with uh, usually my youngest and uh, for this week and next week i'm on the sunny wonderful island of tenerife try and get over here as often as i can if you check my vlogs loads of tenerife stuff in my vlogs mixing of walks day and night uh bars and i go on little excursions and do daft things as well <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so if you're new to the channel, that's exactly what it's all about. Um, listen, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you've not subscribed, little old Collie here wants to get to 3,000 subscribers. So if you can subscribe for me as well, that would be much appreciated. <coughs> I'm just about shaking off my cough that I've brought with me. And I hope I've not given it to anybody here. So actually loads of traffic and noise, apologies if you can uh, just about hear me, I will shout until we get to the end. Handy in folks, if you're staying in any of the hotels around this end of town, uh, that's a good car park to use. I always seem to get a space on there. So the purpose of this video today guys, uh, it's a little walk. I always say it, there are better channels than me, better, better YouTubers who do walks in Tenerife. Most of you know they are. All you need to do is a YouTube search and they'll all pop up. They're all fantastic. Um, but having said that, there's a few people, as I said before I came away, what do you want me to do? By far, the biggest response I got was uh, street walk. So uh, you all need to know updates and stuff of what's open. So the first, I'm doing, I'm killing two birds with one stone in this video. Uh, again, I'm rubbish with names, uh, but somebody asked me to find out if the whiskey jar was open. There's your answer. So it is indeed open seven nights a week. I'll show you the programme of entertainment. So that's what's currently on. Sunday's coming out, I think in two weeks time, they'd heard it had changed hands. Don't know about that, but as you can see, it is indeed very open. Live entertainment, racing and football. There you go. So I don't mind if you want me to have a look at somewhere. If I'm in the area and I get the time, of course I will. There's the Babylon Bistro. Somebody also asked me how to get to the whiskey jar. So what I'll do, when I finish the video, I'll point out exactly where it is from a central spot. Um, yes, the whiskey jar is open. The second one that somebody has asked me is, can I walk past the uh, Columbus Hotel? Yep doing that in a minute uh, but if you just go on YouTube do a search there's loads of fantastic youtubers who do these walks Scotsman in Tenerife although he's not here for a while uh, Matt Masterly hopefully he'll be back soon <laughs> and uh, you've also got Tim uh, live in Hermes in Tenerife and uh, Andrew Nightstrider channel who actually lives on the island somewhere so they all do the walks loads of people apologies if i've not mentioned someone um, but yeah so have a look at their channels as well but i'll do what i can while i'm here for you because i'm like that give it a thumbs up okay so 
Here's your Hotel Columbus, whoever was asking. Not one I've stayed in. Um, this trip and my last trip, I'm staying in uh, like a holiday let apartment over in uh, Los Cristianos. I have stayed in the Pyramides Hotel, which is just down here on the right. I'll show you in a minute. Did a vlog on that. But I do know the Columbus Hotel comes up in the sort of, you know, if, if you Google where's cheapest to stay in Tenerife, Columbus Hotel pops up in and amongst them. Um, but again, I've not stayed there. so And I've heard mixed reviews about it. He nearly got me. It's a good job I'm uh, slim and athletic and I can move out of the way. <laughs> not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've never stayed in here. I've heard mixed reviews. To me, it looks absolutely fine. I'm sure Scott to Nintendo who's done a review on it. Um, yeah, mixed reviews. A lot of people complain that it's geared towards 1830s and can get a bit rowdy and noisy. I mean, looking at the guys going in, I'd suggest not that they're rowdy and noisy, but I would suggest it's geared towards the younger end of the market. <coughs> Excuse me. Planet Sandwich, tucked in the corner. So there you go, so uh, whoever put in a comment, thank you so much. There's your Columbus Hotel, done a water pass for you. So to the right there, Paddy O'Kelly's. Met Danny from Paddy O'Kelly's the other night. Great to meet you, Danny. I will be in touch over what uh, was discussed. <laughs> secret, secrets. Uh, yeah, so Paddy O'Kelly's, uh, Aberdeen Steakhouse. And then this side, got your Super Mercado. Up there, little chill out, beer house, Sam's Corner. Never seen that before. Pints from 150 euro, sports on demand. That's a new one, isn't it? Might have a look at that. Barranco Apartments over on the right. Oh, seven minutes in already. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun. So that takes you that way up to sort of Volcano Hotel area, uh, Chieftain, YOLO Sports Bar on the uh, right there. It's gone nice and quiet now. You can probably hear what I'm saying. <coughs> Uh, some of you may know, uh, just give you an update on what I've been doing the last few days. As some of you may know, I'm out of a friend of mine, Vic, uh, Vicky. Um, we've had great fun. Uh, last few days, we've, oh, we haven't stopped. Um, weekend, we parted. Monday, we went uh, over to Puerto Colon, where through the kind people at Tenerife First Excursions, we uh, did a morning of uh, parasailing, which is the parachute thing off the back of a boat. Uh, took us up 20 metres. Jersey cow. There's your entertainment. There's a little Asian supermarket hidden away under there somewhere. And Bazaar Nido. Uh, yeah, so Monday we were um, parasailing over in Puerto Colón. Great fun. 20 metres up in the air. Um, Tuesday, yesterday, we were at Sam Park, which was like an all day thing. Bollywood Tandoori, if you've been in that, let me know, because I was looking at that. Let me know what it's like. And over there, you've got the refurbished Anchor Bar. And it's very nice in there. We popped in there uh, over the weekend, had a couple of beers. I'll tell you what, I'll go this way. Yeah, so Tuesday we're at Cyan Park. Great fun. Went down all the slides. Um, Wednesday today, we have been kayaking. And that was from uh, Los Cristianos. And they took us out over towards Palmar, which was really interesting. Saw loads of stuff. I won't tell you exactly what we saw. You'll have to wait for the video. <laughs> now, I'm going to try and get the Siam Park one edited and uploaded before I leave here um, over the next week. Uh, so look out for that. The other two, um, I might be able to get the kayaking one done because he's sending me the footage. Uh, the, the actual guy who took us out the instructor, uh, he did some footage. Anchor bar, 
Pyramides on the right up there. So I'm waiting for that to come. If that comes in time and I get a chance, I'll edit that and get that one up so you can have a look at kayaking. And the parasailing one, that I'll have to do when I get home. Um, because although I had my own camera, I uh, didn't get a lot of footage with it. Um, but uh, I've actually bought, again, the people who take it out, they, they take photos and do a video. I've actually bought that, but it's on a little SD card. So when I get home, I can whack that on the, my laptop and get that up for you. So that'll be one for... Uh, when I get back in the UK in a week or so's time. English Rose. Maison Atlantico. Restaurant Hong Kong. And then you've got a little Chinese takeaway and kebab shop there. And then here on the left, Martini Restaurant. The famous Giddy Goose. I'll let you all into a secret, guys. I think that's probably one of the only bars I've never been in in Latin America. I don't know why, I've just never gone in there. Let me know what it's like. Yeah, so uh, those videos will be either coming soon or when I get back in the UK. In the meantime, I have got other stuff planned. Sadly, Vic, uh, it's her last day tomorrow. She flies out tomorrow evening. Um, so I'll try and, get her, try and get her on camera. She's sunbathing at the minute. You know what they're like, by the pool. FM Sports and Shisha Bar. Wow. And then over there. You've got La Boca Steakhouse. 24 hour supermarket, which is usually full of Veronica's clubbers. Anytime after 10 o'clock, there's a new bubble tea place open on the right. And then finally, on the end of this stretch, Spice of India and Little Italy, Pompeii Steakhouse Pizzeria. I'm just going to indulge in a minute, guys. I'm going to get a shot of that bubble tea to show my youngest, Saf. Saf, there you go. Check that out. The bubble tea expert. I'm trying to persuade her to come over for a holiday. She doesn't like flying. Yeah, so uh, in the coming days, Vic's going home, so I won't be doing as much as the holiday maker tourist thing. I was determined Vic uh, had the week she deserved because she does work hard. Um, but now I'm flying solo, so I'll be doing a load more videos, ask me anything, nighttime walks, uh, you name it. I want to try and squeeze it all in and keep myself busy. So uh, just for the benefit, uh, there's a salt Tenerife there. Veronica's is down there and Leonardo's and all them bars. So we've just come from that way. The Columbus Hotel is up on the right and the whiskey jar is at the top. You come to a little junction with a roundabout, turn left and the whiskey jar is on your left and it is indeed open. And then down that end, this takes you towards the patch with the Dubliner Gaelic Corner and the new Wakanda Bar. A lot of my viewers are very familiar with this area, so I apologise guys uh, if I'm showing you stuff you've already seen and experienced. Uh, but for the benefit of those who might be coming for the first time, rambling for ages, there's your update. Okay, so hope you enjoy that. A little, uh, little Wednesday afternoon walk in the sunshine. It is, it is warm. Uh, so, Whiskey Jar, Columbus. If you want me to have a look at anywhere else over the next week or so, put something in the comments. Have a look out for the other vlogs. And as always, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for me as well. Get those numbers up, all right? Thanks for watching. Look out for more videos. See you soon. Bye.